one man. I'm Jake Hamilton here in Beverly Hills. Hi, I'm Jake Hamilton here in the original A-Team band in Santa Monica, California. Takes us on an incredible journey around the world. Here in the home of Sherlock Holmes, London, England. Hanging out with you. You're in Rio. Uh, with you, out. man. Look at this. Seeking adventure. <laughs> Looking for romance. How great are press tours in Brazil? Because I get proposed to while drinking a coconut. Would you be my junket wife? Yes. Yes. Defining opportunities. Jake, there's only one man who I would allow to interview me from this position. And you are that man. I am that man? In search for the time of his life. And it has been on my bucket list to be able to say to my grandkids one day that I dance with Angelina Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <gasps> This is going so great. This is like the greatest moment of my entire life. This summer, get ready for the blockbuster you've been waiting for. Number six, number six, what's up? If I'm on a runaway train, and I call and I say, Denzel, I need your help. I call 911 and say there's a guy like, no, I know, I come get you, baby, I come That's get you. That's all I want, man. I'm there for you. Hamilton Pictures presents Jake's Takes. So I have to say, I think my he favorite. so good. You look so handsome. I really like this outfit. This is like the greatest day of my entire life. It's all downhill from here. This is really all I need. We can sit here for four minutes in silence okay, and I'd be good to go. So I'm watching the movie last night and there's a point where I realized I'm pretty sure each of you could kick my ass. Which is kind of disconcerting as a yeah. guy. Yeah, let's go. Okay. All right. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay. okay, so. Okay, again. And then I go. And then, then you go. gut punch. And then I go. And then I win. <gasps> no freaking way. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please tell me you got that. Can we hug it out? I'm there for you, man. I'm there for you. I'm there. You know what? I got a cheat kiss from Rosario Dawson, and this was just as good as that. And it's that as moment. good as it's going to get, too. <laughs> I actually brought um, a few candy bars. Oh. Um, I was going to see if you wanted to eat in silence and see if it brought us closer together as friends. Let's give it a shot. These are melted. How, how long have you had these? In you don't want to know, man. Oh, it really is melted. That's kidding. really this gross. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's really gross, uh, man. I actually wrote my eulogy, and I was wondering if you would read it so that it could be recorded and then played down the road at my, my funeral. <laughs> my man, Jake Hamilton, sure was one cool cat. Effortlessly charming, not too hard on the eyes, my oh my, how he smelled good. <laughs> or are we closer? You talk! I'm sorry! She's been giving me the rap for you like 20 talk. minutes! I'm sorry. Alright. Are we closer? You're horrible. <laughs> it's hard to forget someone as badass as Jake Hamilton. My life has been made. I just talked to Justin. He's thinking about casting me in the next one. Who should be my physical match? Who's, who's going who's gonna to be the person that takes me on? I got you, dude. Pee Wee Herman. Knocking da boots. D-A. Da boots? Da, and I believe there's a Z on the boots. I, well, I'm very confused. And that song was the jam. Okay. And I'm pretty sure knocking the boots, you, you're, you're 22, but you know what that is. I do. So, uh, so enjoy that song. I will. I, I, I remember... Um, watching Star Wars for the first time on VHS, and, mm -hmm. and thir when I was 13 and 14, I saw 2001 for the first time. And I always tell people, though, it wasn't watching a movie; those were experiences. Yeah. And seeing yeah. Avatar with you at the premiere, that was an experience. What, what's that line between making a movie and then making an experience? I, I don't know. I mean, I, that's what I set out to do because I wanted to rekindle that that feeling that I had. And I was almost saying, "Come on, man! Like, you, you've got to do it. You don't have. Like, let's just do it and let's let's move on." How do you make an audience want a man to cut his arm off? If you had become so at one with him, you were going through the experience war, through with him, that you knew there was no alternative. That you don't enjoy talking about your process of acting because you you read the lines and you do the role and then you move on. Is that is that am I right about that? Yeah. Is, is, that, is it frustrating then that so many people may want to come to you and talk about and pick apart and analyze your process? I, 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 it's not that cut and dried. I don't uh, dismiss other people's methods. Do you ever 
get annoyed that so much attention is paid to something like Gigli or maybe the films that you're not so proud of when you have these great performances in Changing Lanes, which is one of my favorite films, and Boiler Room and Extract? Nobody ever tells stories about the planes that land safely, right? Mm -hmm. No, we like to fix right. it. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. The, that crash. And that's just, that's part of the drama. How important is winning an Oscar for you? It's everything. <laughs> uh, you know, the work is the thing. I love the work, you know, and, and telling stories is it. It's, I could talk to you all day. It's such an honor. Thank, can I have a hug? This is like the most amazing sure. year. Get in here. Love you, bud. Love you. It's always a pleasure oh, talking with you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, man. Listen. Thank you. Thank you. Just hop over here and break my mic. Look at that. Real men from Texas. This is how we roll. I love Perfect. You. I love you, Jake.